The rear naked choke is the number one jujitsu submission of all time. The challenge is that when you take your opponents back, they're gonna do everything they can to protect their neck. Here are six powerful ways to lock in the rear naked choke. Number one, elbow strikes. When your opponent tucks their chin, the back of their neck is exposed. Striking the back of their neck with your elbow will cause them to lift their head, opening the opportunity for the choke. For obvious reasons, this is 100% illegal in MMA, but that doesn't mean the family hasn't been using it in challenge matches for nearly 100 years. Number two, the bounce. If you don't want to elbow them in the back of the neck, simply take your opponent's face and bounce it against the pavement. When they resist the second or third bounce, their head will arch up and you can sneak right in for the finish. Number three, the cross face. If you want to be as gentle and humane as possible, use your arm to drive your opponent's face to one side and then use your other arm to shoot under the chin and into choking position. When the cameras were rolling, Hickson loved this variation because it allowed him to get the job done with the least amount of blood spilled. Number four, the fish hook. I didn't think this was a thing until UFC 281 when Michael Chandler actually used it against Dustin Poirier. He literally took his hand and stuck it into Dustin's mouth and pulled up in an attempt to get under the chin with the other hand. Not only is this highly illegal, in this case, it didn't actually work. Bottom line, I would never recommend this because remember, if you're gonna put it in their mouth, you can't blame them for biting it. Number five, the neck crank. When you can't get under the chin, you can actually apply the choke on the side of their jaw and use your whole body to crank their neck in a twisting fashion. They either tap for the neck crank because it's so painful or they lift their chin to avoid the crank, allowing you to slip into the perfect choking position. In fact, after Chandler's failed fish hook at UFC 281, this is exactly how Poirier won the fight. Number six, the chin choke. When there's nothing you can do to get under the chin, you can always choke the chin itself. Most people don't know this, but when the rear naked choke is perfectly applied on the chin, it actually pushes your opponent's jaw into their neck, triggering the same vascular occlusion that occurs in regular chokes. Conor McGregor learned this the hard way when he was choked on his chin by Habib Nurmagomedov at UFC 229. Two more bonus tips. When you get the choke in place, your opponent is gonna attack one of two things, your hands or your face. If he attacks your hands, use your chin to lock your top wrist in place so that he cannot untie the arms, just like Hickson did here against Funaki. If instead he attacks your eyes, like Zulu tried to do against Hickson way back when, close your eyes tightly and lower your head to the side to limit their access to your face until they're rendered unconscious. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, save, and share with your friends. But more importantly, Black Friday starts right now. For those who get down with the Gracie lifestyle, 25% off store wide. Tons of new apparel, training gear, geese, accessories. This is the biggest sell of the year, so don't miss out. And for those who've been eyeballing any one of the Gracie University online courses, 25% off site wide there as well. So now is the time to shoot in. Finally, if you're shopping for anyone who doesn't do jujitsu, quickflipapparel.com is the only place to go. With several new colors that just hit the shelves, holiday shopping has never been so easy because nothing says I love you like the comfort, convenience, and convertibility of Quick Flip.